What you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Jay Smooth, man. Big Smooth, Mr. Smooth. It's another episode of Smooth Thoughts. I'm just going to be talking a little, talking a little, you know, getting a few things off my chest, you know. We ain't going to have a panel. We ain't talking about no training topics tonight. It's just all about Smooth Thoughts right now. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment on this video. You know, same old, same old. Follow us on all social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. All audio platforms, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and anywhere you find your podcast, iHeartRadio. I and tonight, you know, I'm not showing my face, you know, I don't really feel like getting on camera. I feel like the message is a little deeper today. I don't really want to. You feel me? Show my face today. I ain't really feeling like it's been a long weekend, you know? That type of thing. So, like I was saying about, you know, the description of the video. I'm talking about a few things on my mind. I'm talking about how to bring in the new year on a higher vibration, following your dreams, chasing your goals more than ever, scheduling out time to do certain things that you want to do to fulfill you, you know, and just keep motivating yourself and, you know, staying at it. No matter what, like today, I didn't want to do this episode, but, you know, I did, I'm did. i doing it. Why not? You feel me? You know, today, I'm just talking about how to get your mind right for the year coming up, New Year, quote-unquote, New Year's in December. I say quote-unquote because us as Americans, we believe. And it's 12 months in a year, 365 days in a year. So we believe on December 31st, 12 o'clock, January 1st, it's a new year. But also Chinese, you know, they had a Chinese new year. 
and that's in March. And like I always said, you know, y'all can do y'all research. Like I always said, it just don't feel right having a new year and no winter because everything is dead. You feel me? Springtime, I feel like the really the new year. That's when the new year comes. Because everything alive, you feel me? Everything come back, come back up again, sprouting, plants sprouting, uh, birds, bees, you know. You don't really see them in the winter because everything dead, plants dead, everything, you know, dying in the winter. That's just how I feel about that. But, you know, I feel like now. There's a lot of things in this world going on. We got to really take time and just realize how far we came, where we came from, certain accomplishments we we achieved over the years. And you got to have a certain mindset in today's time. I feel like so many distractions every day. Even this phone I'm talking on right now, it's a distraction. You know, I'm gonna be real. If your algorithm, not, you know, somewhat filled with informative information, information you can use, take notes on, actually use it in your reality, change your reality for the better for your family. You know. If it's not that type of information, it's kind of pulling you away from what's really necessary and what's really actually important in this world and in your lifetime because, you know, we got one life in the flesh. You know, we got the afterlife, spiritual afterlife. You know, your spirit live on. Energy never dies. It just transfers. You feel what I'm saying? But that's another story, another topic for another day, you know. But, uh, yeah, so with that being said, you know, you got to chase your dreams. You got to stay focused. You got to think of the bigger, the bigger plan, the bigger objective, the bigger goal, the bigger overall goal, you feel me? Because a lot of things in this world won't take you away from that, especially if you already somewhat 50 percent or more on that mission and you dedicated and you're willing to do what it takes to get to the next level yeah that's what i personally feel like you can say double dark energy um, negative things start to happen in your life the opposite of good things, opposite of things that lift your spirit up. It'd be more low vibrational energy coming towards you when you're trying to ascend to a higher vibration. It's crazy, but that's how like work a lot of times. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say that about mindset. Like you gotta just dug it out, like stick it through. No matter what, no matter how difficult it gets, no matter how much chaos in your life, no matter how much things are unorganized, sometimes you need to sit back, and that's why I preach on meditation. You feel me? A person like me, I kind of group meditation with prayer in the same category because it's a long time with yourself, with a higher power, whatever you choose to believe in, it's time to gather your thoughts. It's time to, to regroup. It's time to recharge, especially if you meditate or pray outside and things like that. Be, become one, one with nature and really tap into that. You feel me? That divine spirit within it just ascend to a higher consciousness and open that penal gland more, you feel me? It ain't, you feel me? It's easy, but a lot of times when you in these busy cities, you in this hustle and bustle type of mind, 
frame, you in this gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it type of lifestyle. I feel like sometimes that's not always good for your spiritual growth, for your personal development, for your uh, change of change of thought process. I feel like it kind of is detrimental to you. Not even kind of, it is. I'm not even going to speak like that kind of, sort of. I'm just going to be straight direct, you feel me? Because the demographic of the podcast is all, you know, pretty much grown men, grown women, grown people. So I'm going to just keep it all way, you know, keep it all way straight, straight to the, you feel me, straight to the, Straight to the, you know, direct, direct uh, answer, direct, you know, just more direct, you know, more just straightforward. That's what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah, situations like that, it'd be just like, you know, everything. Everything not what it seems, everybody not who they say it is. But at the same time, you can't do it by yourself either. Yeah. Well, I want to speak on something personal as well. I like, I feel like people, content creators, people that you know, share content, create content off their life. And, do podcasts, uh, things like that, like kind of media space, kind of like a public public platforms for public perception. A lot of times, that can interfere with your real life family. They might not understand the the real difference and the real separation of content and personal life and personal feelings, beliefs, and things like that, like they might not understand the controversy, they might not understand what you're trying to do, are you trying to bring engagement across your platform, are you trying to get your numbers up, you feel me, how you trying to get a check off whatever you got going on, they might not understand that, and they might feel like you kind of sabot- sabotaging a family. Putting just on, um, putting that energy out, but it's just be like, they gotta understand when it comes to the podcast situation, when it comes to all that media situation, it's, it's really business. It ain't personal. It, it's not really what you think personally is bigger than that. It's more of a it's more that I'm trying to bring the audience. I'm trying to bring my engagement. I'm trying to really create dialogue. Sometimes you got to pull certain strings out of people to create dialogue. You know what I'm saying? It's not really trying to make it personal about your family or about your people. You just trying to, you just trying to, you know, you just trying to make some, make something out of nothing. Period. Like for real, you just trying to create your platform and create good content straight up. Like for real. At the end of the day, that's all it is. Whether we like it or not, the whole lifestyle we live, you know, social media or not, everybody's life is content. Even if you're born, quote unquote, born person, you don't leave the house, you do something every day. You got a routine. That's the audience for everybody. For grandmothers, for aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, everybody. Everybody got their own thing to bring to the table. Yeah. That's really all I'm trying to say. Even though 
anybody can do it. Some certain generations, they just don't understand. Like, like you feel me? Content. They take, they take a lot of stuff personally. They take a lot of things to the heart, and that's cool because everybody do. But I feel like the more further generations, they are from the internet and then just coming up with the internet, so to speak, like they became like confused on a lot of things. But it's all content. It's all, it's all up for dialogue. It's all up for grabs. That's how I feel. Don't be scared to push the boundaries. Don't be scared to just, I don't know. You feel me? Why was you ain't, you know, disrespectful or nothing? But, you know, you know it's, all, it's all up. It's the internet. It's how, it's how it's going right now, man. You know, real life, real life, content, content. I'm going to just leave it like that. I feel. Back to raising your vibrations, man. Raising your vibrations mean cutting people off. Raising your vibrations mean separating playtime from work time. Raising your vibrations mean being one more, being more one with nature. Grounding, meditation, sun gazing, eating healthier. Not eating even the healthiest, but eating healthier. You feel me? Yeah. Eating, you know, vitamins, natural type. You feel me? More fruits, more uh, herbs, more vegetables, stuff like that. And I ain't even, you know what I mean? I'm growing too. I ain't perfect at all. So I don't never want to seem like I'm I'm trying to act like I'm better than somebody or I think I'm bigger than somebody. Nah, I ain't even that. You know? It's just all about it's just all about evolving. It's all about I hope you on the same thing. Whoever listening to this, whoever hearing this, I hope you're on the same thing, just vibe and just, just get better, evolve, stand on your stand on your pivot, stand on your, with yourself. You know, taking care of your responsibilities. And staying out the way. Staying out the way. That's one of the biggest things nowadays. And I'm a content creator, so Kind of hard to stay out of the way. You try, you trying to be at them events. You trying to go here. You trying to go there to get content. You feel me? And it's just like you gotta know. Just gotta know how to play it. You gotta know hours to do content. Hours to be your ass inside. But you know, it's to each his own. I ain't trying to act like a mobile pick brother, father, none of that shit. You feel me? Do what you do and do what works for best for you. Stay away from that negative, dark, and lower vibrational type of energy at all costs. You feel me? No matter what, no matter who it is, like a lot of times, shit be shit get strange. But hey, you gotta stick it out. You gotta trust yourself. You gotta go with your gut every time. You feel what I'm saying? So. Damn, I've been on here for 20 minutes. I ain't really want to talk y'all head off. You feel me? I barely was going to do this episode. I just wanted to speak on a few things, uh, touch bases with the audience, let them know what's going on. You know, we're trying to build, we're trying to deal with the network, to, you know, YouTube, to just content in general. We're trying to have more. Options available, more shows, different different hosts, you know, live shows possibly. We trying to just you know expand, expand the team, get in touch with some editors, you know, 
advertisement, sponsorship. We're trying to expand. So, like, I appreciate anybody who see this, anybody who catch the rebroadcast, anybody who watch it tomorrow. I love everybody, support everybody. Any like, any view, any comment, any dislike, any negative comment, it's all love. Like, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. We're going to keep coming with more and more content. It's just a it's this episode of me just talking, just being just, I don't know, therapy, I guess. Yeah. Talking about a few things, you feel me? I don't know, you know like, why I ain't showing his face? Like, I need, you know, like, I'm not I'm going to cut, man. I'm just chilling. Think about, think about a lot, man. Trying to do better for me and my family. That's another thing. That's one of that's one of my God given purposes to have a family, to have a wife, to have something to hustle for, to have something to come home to, to have something that that is bigger than myself, to have something that has me on a on the time schedule. And I know I know people are like, ah, oh, this this motherfucker this 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 dude tripping, whatever, whatever. This nigga, oh, he need a woman to get in line. Ah, oh, it ain't it ain't even that. It's my woman. She she helped me. You feel me? She helped me with a lot of things. She break down the things to me in a different way. She see things in a different light. She got intuition, like we all do, but a woman, intuition, a woman. You feel me? They got some special powers, you know, so they can they can see things the man don't see, you know. We kind of think a certain way, they think a certain way. But either way, it's always good. King and queen gonna always be better than just king by herself or queen by herself, like, you know. They come together and, and, and I don't have children. That's the, ch- the children create legacy. You see what I'm saying? So the children create legacy. You know? so, I'm just going all out for my legacy, my last night, before my first night. Yeah, you know, I want to just thank y'all for tapping in. So much love, Mr. Smooth, Smooth Thoughts. I ain't trying to talk y'all heads off for real. I just wanted to talk about raising your vibration for the new year. Sometimes creating content, podcasts, and come between family and real life. Sometimes family don't know the difference from between content and real life. They might not understand that it's the podcast speaking. It's not the person. You feel me? It's not a certain individual. It's just the whole one of the podcast speaking in general. Like you know what I'm saying? So. Another thing, do you chase your dream no matter what? Stay focused, stay prepared, stay aware, continue to elevate, continue to grow as a person, as a human being. Try to stay around higher vibrational beings. And, uh, it's real. Much love for your conversations. Make sure to follow us everywhere. Make sure to tap in with me, Jay Smooth on Facebook, Mr. Smooth, underscore Status World on IG, I believe. TikTok, Big Boss Smooth, uh, BSWW. Yeah, man, tap in with the Real Conversations podcast, Boss Stats Worldwide pages, all the pages, tap in, 
all the brands, all the things we got going on, things we associated with. I appreciate y'all tapping in. Like I said, follow us on the platform, smart stars, man, real. It's your boy, Swole. We out. We down. It's a little. Till next time. Appreciate y'all. Hey, status world. It's small. Be West. Be, be West. Man. Hey, what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. What you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live and die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? He testified and took the stand, he know he did wrong. Hey, when they switching up the plan, you know they head gone. Hey, when he say he down and all, you know it's bread gone. Hey, hey, and that's reality. I know it ain't had to be this way, but shit, it gotta be. And keep it real, he probably jealous of your salary. And actuality, these niggas casualties. Don't be no fool and get caught up in all these situations. Cause when you up and then he down, it ain't no hesitation. That nigga bound to slime you out and leave you in the basement. This ain't no entertainment, keep grinding till you make it. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, hey, you know they did wrong. Them cops that went and killed Tyree, you know they did wrong. Them niggas that's gonna slime you out, you know they did wrong. Them niggas that be talking down, you know they did wrong. Hey, hey, you know they did wrong. Them cops that went and killed Tyree, you know they did wrong. Them niggas that's gonna slime you out, you know they did wrong. Them niggas that be talking down, you know they did wrong. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, hey it's smoke. It's smoke. Status words. Be west. Let's get it. We with it. It's smoke. Hey, what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you, hey, what you, what if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on?